What's going on you guys? In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about why you need to be paying attention to Real Broker. If you're a real estate agent or you're just an investor, this is gonna be important information for you because there is a lot of upside here. Without further ado, let's just jump right into things. I like to get started with what's going on uh, here in this world. So we're gonna take a look at the stock first because I think this is one of the most exciting things about this company. I wanna take a look at how their stock price has performed over the last couple of days and where I think it could be going in the near future. So you can see here that the um, this is looking at a day chart here. Let's go back and look at like a six month chart here. Get this to load here on Webull. So we did see a uh, uh, quite a high price here. This is because of a stock split. They actually uh, did a stock reverse stock split got up here so they could get, le get listed on the NASDAQ and then um, reverse that after being listed onto the NASDAQ. So what I wanna look at here, you can see that this information here, when you look at this chart, it has basically stayed flat. It's been hovering around this like $1.80 to $2.10 mark for uh, quite a while now, back since July of this year. So this has been going on for a long time. Let's go ahead and short the, shorten this up here to just three months and take a look at this information here. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see that uh, we were actually back here at a dollar uh, eighty uh, back here in September, and now we are currently sitting at roughly two dollars and sixteen cents. It's actually much higher than that um, after market. Oh, here we go. There's the correct information. Uh, actually, sitting at two dollars and forty four cents um, here in the last little bit. So that's a pretty big. Um, upswing here. If we actually go ahead and just draw this trend line, if we just take a number here and go up to about two dollars and forty four cents, that's twenty six percent upside. So the stock is going um, up. Now this is a smaller market cap company, so of course it doesn't take that much to move the stock price, uh, you know, pretty drastically as far as the percentage goes. But this is something to keep an eye on. First, I wanted to talk about the stock price because that's one of the things I'm most excited about as an agent and as an investor in this company. I think this is one of the best things that this company has going for them. Next, I want to talk about how they are expanding and how they are growing their agent count by getting into new markets. This is some news that just released last week. Uh, Real Broker is now operating in 38 states with its launch of operations in Idaho. So they're now in 38 states, the District of Columbia and Canada. As part of the expansion, the Revista Realty team will be joining Real with the owner Desi Williams as Real's principal broker. Uh, she opened uh, Revista Realty in 2017, which has grown into a team of six. So it sounds like it was a smaller brokerage that is now coming into Real um, to kind of run that operation and um, uh, is going to be the lead um, agent and team and broker for Idaho. So this is bringing on another six agents here into the company, which might, might not sound like a lot, but hey, every little bit counts. And this is gonna be massive news for Real Broker and for this particular agent. With Idaho as a fast growing market in the United States, we feel that Real has the technology, opportunities, and people to help support our business and our agents at Revista. We are excited to join Real to continue our growth. Idaho is quickly becoming a growing real estate market in the US. According to the NAR, Boise was identified as one of the top 10 commercial office markets for the third quarter of 2021 in its monthly commercial market insights. There's a lot of people moving into Idaho. So having uh, these real agents or having agents have that exposure to real broker is going to be massive for the growth of the company as real estate in the area continues to grow. I think the important thing to note here is that real is now operating uh, in 38 states. This is almost every single state in America. I would be um, surprised if Real Broker is not in all 50 states by the end of 2022. I think we're gonna get there. It just takes time. You gotta find the right broker. You gotta go through all the steps of getting licensed um, and uh, operational there in the state. So it does take time, but I think by the end of next year, they're gonna be uh, easily operating in all 50 states. I'd be very surprised if they're not. The other important thing to note here is that Real is building a future together with more than 3,000 agents and their clients. Real Broker recently crossed 3,000 agents. We're actually at 3,100, maybe even 3,200 now um, over the past week or two with the growth of the company. And this is growing exponentially. If we look back to when I joined the company back in February, we were barely at 2,000 agents with the company. And that was not even a year ago. That's only about eight years, or excuse me, eight months ago. So to go from 2,000 to 3,000 agents in just eight months, even though the company has been around for roughly five years, that is a huge um, increase in the amount of agents that are coming over to um, the brokerage. And the reason why they're doing that is because of um, a lot of the uh, benefits that they offer. So let's take a look here at this agent plan first. One of the best things about Real Broker is that they offer an 85-15 commission split and they only have a $12,000 annual cap with uh, then it's a 100% split and there's no monthly fees. So they do charge a small transaction fee after capping on each deal that you do. So this is something to kind of keep in mind that you do have that transaction fee that you still have to pay 
uh, into the brokerage each time you close a transaction. But an 85-15 split is phenomenal. That is really low. Other companies are charging 80-20 or even 70-30 to join their company. Some teams are going to be charging like 50-50. So having 85-15 means you're keeping more of each commission check and putting it into your pocket when you close that deal. Also, only a $12,000 cap. That's absolutely phenomenal. A lot of other companies are going to have somewhere between a $16,000 to maybe even $28,000, $32,000 cap to be with their company. They they kind of phrase this as like, hey, you get the privilege, you get the privilege privilege of being with our company and uh, you're only going to pay $28,000 a year to be here. Well, that's a lot of money, right? So having $12,000 annual cap, that's very reasonable when it comes to running such a large operation like this. Uh, Paying in that money and seeing where it goes is actually really beneficial um, as an agent. The other thing that's really cool here is that uh, teams, they only have a 6K team member annual cap, and then it's 100% split. Uh, The way they had that worded was a a little bit weird. But um, yeah, so it's 12K for the team leader, and then it's only 6K for the team members there on the team. So having a $6,000 cap as a team member, that's phenomenal. I remember when I first got started in the business, I was paying a $16,000 cap as a team member on somebody else's team. So not only did I have to pay a franchise fee, which is totally stupid, and I had to pay a $16,000 cap, but I was also paying a team member, my team leader, 50-50, you know, uh, 50% of each transaction that I closed. So I was basically making nothing. If I went out there and sold a house and got a $10,000 commission, I was only taking home about $3,000 of that overall commission after it was all said and done. With what Real is doing, they're changing the way this is done, and they're changing how much agents are being able to put into their pocket, which is going to enable Real Broker to continue to grow and steal business from a lot of the legacy brokerages out there. The other thing I want to talk about And we'll cover this here in another video, but I just want to share this with you here uh, really quick. So you can earn extra revenue through revenue share. They have a five tier revenue share plan. And this is basically saying, hey, if you attract people to the company, you are going to get a small portion of their annual cap each time they close a deal. This is kind of your reward for bringing them into the company and also helping to them helping them grow their business. So uh, your first tier, you can earn up to four thousand dollars per agent per year and this resets each year. So every time they start paying in their cap again, you're getting a portion of this. Tier two, it's 3,200, tier three, 2,400, tier four, 1,600, and tier five, 800. So we will cover this in another video. Um, so you can find that on my channel if you wanna go further in depth on how revenue share, revenue share works and some of the numbers behind it. I go into that in that other video. But for the sake of this, we're gonna continue on to the stock plan, which I think is one of my favorite parts of what this company is doing. So as an agent with uh, this company, and I'm gonna show you my stock here in just a minute, you can purchase stock at a discount with your commissions. You can have 5% of net commissions paid out in stock. So if you go out there and you get a $10,000 commission, you can take 5% of that, which would be $500, and purchase company stock with it. If you hold on to those shares, or let me rephrase this, If you uh, choose to do that, if you use that 5% to purchase stock within the company, Real Broker will then grant you 25% of worth of additional shares one year after the transaction at no cost to agent. They actually give these shares to you up front, but then they have a one year vesting period. After capping, this can be increased to 10% of net commissions paid out in stock up to a maximum of $15,000 per year. And Real is going to grant 50% worth of shares one year after transaction at no cost to the agent. So what this basically means is, hey, if you purchase stock with your uh, with a five or 10% of your commission, you're going to get additional shares just for holding on to those for at least one year. Basically what this means is, Let's say you take that $500 and right now, let's say the share price was at $2. Well, if you spend $500, let me just pull up my calculator here. So you're gonna spend $500 and you're buying shares at $2 a piece. That means you're gonna get 250 shares of Real Broker. Then you're going to get 25% additional shares just for holding on to those for one year. They'll have a one year vesting period. So you're gonna get an additional 62 and a half shares for free just for holding on to those shares. That $62.5 is going to be worth at least $2, we hope. You know, Of course, stock price is not guaranteed, but let's say it's worth $2. Well, you're going to get $125 for free as long as you hold on to those initial shares for at least that one year period. So this is a game changer when it comes to being able to build 
long-term wealth with the company. And it's really an incentive tool for the brokerage to retain agents in the company. This is massive when it comes to uh, keeping agents around and having them continue on with the company, because as you build up these shares, you have less and less incentive to actually end up leaving because you'd be forfeiting the value of those shares. Okay. So I want to come over here and actually show you my stock options and awards that I've had with the company. Now, what this is, what you're looking at here is the ShareWorks platform, which is where they handle all of these shares, right? So you can see here the dates. I'm not going to go through all this in depth, but you can see here what this was for. So I had a stock purchase plan in April. This is the bonus that I received. And this is the actual purchase that I paid in. So you can see here that I got 572 shares at the time of the grant. The market price was $1.89. So you can see here, $572 at $1.89. I paid $1,081 out of my commission in order to purchase those 572 shares. Because of that, I was also granted 25%. Remember, 572 times 25% is 143. They rounded up. So it's 144 shares um, granted here. So I got 144 extra shares at $1.89 just for holding on to them. Now, they're not vested, so I can't actually sell them and get the value out of them. I just have to hold on to them for right now. That's an additional $272 that I just got just for purchasing stock during the month of April earlier this year. So with where the share price is at now, I think we're at 244. We now have 572 shares. Um, and the value of what I've got here, uh, this is this is a little bit off. It hasn't corrected for the day, but we're at 244 based on today's share price. Those The value of those um, shares is now worth $1,395. So I spent, I think it said 100, 1,081. Now it's worth 1,395. So I just got 400, roughly, well, let's say $300 of value for purchasing those stock and for purchasing that stock and just holding on to it, right? So it's an investment in what I've got here. Also, if we take that 144, that was the bonus and times that by um, 144 times 2.5, excuse me, 2.44 times 144, this is now worth $351. So originally it was worth, let's see, 144 times 189. Originally it was worth 272, now it's worth that 350 mark. So this is massive when it comes to building your wealth um, here in real estate. This is something that, uh, you know, not many companies are doing and it's an absolute game changer. If you're a real estate agent looking at this company, this is just a rough overview of how the stock works. You can see that the numbers get even bigger as we go down into the year, as I close more deals and um, increase this amount that I'm spending and, and purchasing stock with. Um, and you can see the benefit that this has led to uh, me getting, which is over 33,000. This isn't fully updated. So it's probably somewhere closer to like 37, 38,000 um, dollars worth of stock. And I think this could easily turn into a million dollar position over the next five to 10 years as I continue to purchase stock through the company uh, using these methods. So I know we just covered a lot on the stock, but this is super important guys. You have to kind of keep up to date on what's going on here because it's going to be massive for the company overall, whether again, whether you're an agent or you're an investor in the company, this is a company you have to take seriously because we're, of what we're going to talk about here in just a minute. All right. So another thing that they just launched, they just launched instant payment services for agents. Basically, uh, the way it works when you're a real estate agent, if you're not one, uh, if you go out there and you uh, put a deal under contract and you're going through the transaction process as a real estate agent, you don't get paid anything until the actual time of closing. You're not going to get paid a single dime until you close on that transaction and the title company or the attorney actually pays you out. Well, real brokers actually changing the way that this happens. They are going to leverage per per proprietary artificial intelligence data and predictive analytics to determine which agents are eligible for the program and the likelihood and timing of a transaction closing and to calculate the value of the payment. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to give you like a, a cash advance up front. They're going to front you the money before the deal even closes. And you can use this in the case of like an emergency, or if you just needed some funding for a project or, you know, maybe a rental property purchase or something that you're doing, you can actually take this as an advance um, on your commission check and use it to then spend that money wherever you need to. So let's say you've got a $10,000 check. It's not going to close for, let's say three months. You could actually take $5,000 of that check and say, Hey, I want to get this paid out. Now you are going to pay a three percent fee on whatever you take from the that check but you do get the flexibility of having this so i think for 
newer agents, this is going to be really good because newer agents can use this in a sense where they would be able to, uh, you know, maybe they only have one closing every month, every two months, every three months. They can actually use this as a cash advance to be able to continue to pay their bills each month. And top producers can actually use this if they need additional cash. If they've got a lot of deals in the pipeline, they can use this as a way to build additional cash to go out there and make a purchase, make an investment, or just have that flexibility of being able to capture that revenue sooner um, and, you know, basically take it now rather rather than taking it later. So this is really kind of cool. I think this is going to be a game changer for, um, you know, the way that agents get paid. Not There's no other brokerages that are doing this. No other brokerages will do this because it's too risky. There are third parties out there who will do it, but they charge you like 10, 20, 30% fees on whatever you take. So if you take $5,000, they charge you 20%. They're going to be taking a thousand dollar fee just to give that to you. So that is, that doesn't make any sense, right? It's just for a third party to do that. They do that because it is so risky. They have to, however, real broker is changing the way that they do it. They're being very careful with this and that's why they can only charge a 3% fee. And they're really being smart about how they're going to approach this. So uh, really cool information there. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is um, the, uh, so we're actually going to come over here. <clears throat> Let's take a look at uh, this company here, which has a very similar model to Real Broker, uh, but it's bigger. You know, we'll be honest. Look, Real EXPI is much bigger than what Real Broker is at this point. But look at what has happened over um, the last little bit to their stock. Now, I actually held a quite a bit of EXP stock years ago. This was back in like, uh, two, it was probably about 2017, 2018. Um, and you can see here that the share price back then was roughly in the, you know, dollar thirty-eight right here, but it was roughly like, you know, four or five, eight dollars right here and this was kind of the peak for a long time if you look at this chart right here you can see that in um january of 2018 we hit roughly 920 same thing here in may of 2018 uh, 920 again, give or take a little bit. And then here we hit about 961 in September. Then it started a downtrend and trade basically flat for uh, about a year, year and a half, uh, actually almost two years. And then it started to just take off. It went on this massive run, hit a high of 77, came down, and now it's been trading, you know, kind of, let's just say mostly flat over the last little bit. Uh, but it's still at like $45, right? $45 a share. Well, I actually held a bunch of stock back here in 2017. And I had a cost basis of roughly like six or seven dollars. I had bought some shares lower. I bought some shares higher. Well, what happened is as soon as this started to run up right here, I actually sold out of the stock. I sold out of most of the stock right here because I just didn't want to hold on to it any longer. Unfortunately, I missed out on a huge run. I think that where these companies compare, if you look at what happened to EXP stock and you look at where what's going to happen to real broker, real brokers back here, we're back here at this like, you know, $2 mark, right? So we're buying stock here in 2017 and now we're here in 2021. So that's roughly four years, right? Think about where real broker could be in four years. If we take all of those shares that I got from my stock options, as well as other shares that I bought uh, personally in my own private account, this is going to be a very large amount, right? If we come back here um, to the stock plan or the, to the stock options, uh, my total shares accumulated is 15,000. So let's just say I've got a rough cost basis of 15,000 and we're looking at uh, 15,000 at, let's just say it's $2, right? So I've put in roughly $30,000. Those 15,000 shares, let's just say that real broker can get their share price up to $30. I think that's a fair amount. Uh, you know, it's not crazy high. It's not going to be as high as EXP or better than EXP or anything like that. But just comparing what's going to happen with these companies and, you know, a lot of the similarities, similarities they have when it comes to the stock options, let's just say they can get their share price to $30. That's going to give me a number of $450,000. So if I didn't buy a single additional share and just waited four, five, six years, if they can get their share price to $30, I'm going to be sitting on $450,000 worth of value because of Real Broker. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to consider joining Real Broker, if you're an agent and you're looking at the company, make sure to get in touch with me. You can send me an email. My information will be in the description box below. Send me an email and let's chat about how you can join Real Broker and change the future of your lifestyle and the future of your career uh, by being an agent with Real Broker. There's a ton of benefits with the, with this company. I'd love to go in depth with, um, with you on it and uh, share a little bit more about how it's changed my life and how it can change your life as well. Share this with a friend or a family member who's also a real estate agent where if they might find some value in this, they'll definitely want to see this video. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.